ass tower and all the rest of this place. Let's finish this dumb thing off. And who are you really? I can tell. It looks like all three towers have been successfully taken care of. The evacuation is now going much more quickly thanks to the improved environmental conditions. Most of the soldiers have gotten out, but it seems like something happened that I hadn't foreseen. Please, come with me. I don't want to do this event any longer. Like, I got my box to the highest level it needs to be, okay? I explored this whole damn place a second time. Guess I gotta fight those guys again. Logically speaking, all of Inconomia should be back to normal by now. Unfortunately, this place has now become the most dangerous of all. I don't know why this is happening or what to do about it. But what I can tell you is the location of the guy behind all of this. I'm going to have to ask you to confront him and make him reveal his whole plan. How did this happen? I've been observing the flow of the darkness and I noticed something peculiar. And there was a faint vortex continuously absorbing the darkness. I can only assume that the flow must be triggered by his need for abyssal energy. He's extremely dangerous. Even most bishops would be no match for him. Mm, don't worry, I've been waiting for a chance to let loose on him. Especially for making this event be possible. So I had to deal with this whole place again. Music to my ears. Thank you. If I have deduced correctly, he should be in the library area right now. Oh great, I gotta go back to the library. Yeesh. Oh, it's Enjo again. <laughs> Should have figured. So how do you really sound? again better get my buffs probably don't really need to go that hard against him but What is that? Sound like my sound be getting screwed over. Oh, 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 
forgot I put my thing back on so I can get those heals. Finished just yet. That woman with the splendor pupils, what, what does she call herself? Huh? How do you know about her? Her name, what is it? She calls herself Zoom. <laughs> that reptilian seems to be doing a pretty good job of human imitation. Oh, uh, yeah, reptilian. <laughs> This honestly doesn't surprise me. The Bishop people. Mm-hmm. No surprise at all. Bishop people? Huh. Sounds like the kind of nickname Hyman comes up with all the time. You do much worse. Well, this one comes from an old Enconomian legend. When the Bethismal Bishops were defeated, they began evolving to survive. That is to say, they imitated the victors. Eventually. This gave rise to a line of bishops who were indistinguishable from humans, except for their pupils. These were the bishop people. The story goes that they gradually infiltrated in Kanomiya and took over many high-ranking positions. Remind you of anyone? We did hear that Sumi's pupils are vertical. Yep. In good lighting, you can see that reptiles' pupils are thin, vertical lines. That's hard evidence that she's betrayed you right there. But she's been helping us. Yeah, we can't let that fool us though. She could be helping us just to win. She's just using you to get revenge on me. I mean, I betrayed them first. I formed an alliance with the bishops. I said I'd plunge all of Enkanomiya into darkness so they could send their elites into the Dainichi Mikoshi and rescue. Like this guy. Let's go back to Sumi and ask her about all this. 
Okay. There's no way that was like the final boss of this event, was it? it that guy's like the only good thing about this event. Let's go talk to the snake. I mean, who the fuck was not gonna really think that something wasn't going on here? You put a snake mask on, you're a damn snake. Why does it always end like this? Well, don't be sad. Oh, Jesus Christ, that bloody swim up there, here. Oh, did you have a serious poopy, sir? Jesus Christ, it was more like liquid. <laughs> liquid hot fire. This is just about to be something I'm really not going to have any fun doing. And it has to turn co-op off until I do it. What the fuck? Oh my god, what the hell is that? Hmm. Oh boy. I gotta put this stupid box back on. Oh, this only gets worse. There were stairs right here. What the fuck? Ugh. Why is this event just such a drag? Let's go. about to say, where the fuck are you going? Yeah, no 
Oh shit, maybe the box should work. Must think I'm made of no damn brain cells. I don't really need you to do this to me. Oh. That's the mechanism. Nothing. Nothing at all. No, uh. I remember in Red Dead Redemption 2 when we were going to be a trade business after our bounty hunting days. Stupid ass box. Yes. Why not? I don't. Know. I don't. Mm. I don't think I'll ever be able to feel my butt cheeks the same way again. <laughs> Reptilians? Like, I don't know about reptilians. Whoa. Reptilian bitch. Reptilian slut. Damn. I'd fuck him. Of course you would. That's of no surprise. Not around here. You're trying to tell me I'm fucking in the lock. <laughs> Most definitely you wouldn't. No! <laughs> oh, it's not good that I'm wrong. I'm just joking. No, somewhere in there, the furry has awakened. No, no, I can't do that. <laughs> you can't? Why not? Well, I mean, fucking a corpse and like fucking a reptile. It's still cold blood. Oh god. Dude, stay not for reality. Don't make me have a fever in 103 and some hot blooded baby. Oh my god. What? Are you judging me for my sexual preferences? No. Not yet. Like, sounds like, sounds like two judging me. Not yet. Also, what do you mean, not yet? Are you gonna <laughs> test me or something? Nah. Gonna run me to a BDSM test? Nah. You know there's actually a tape you can find in Dying Light 2 about a couple who are discovering BDSM for the first time and the fact that they're interested in trying it. Oh my god. And all it is is them asking for sex health safety tips before trying it. Oh my lord. And also inquiring where they could find it. Oh shit, I wasn't expecting a cutscene to come out of this. They were legitimately asking basically for post-apocalyptic sex education. What the fuck? 
because they literally go on like, you know, our parents taught us how to survive, how to kill, how to this or that, but they didn't teach us anything about the, uh, the birds and the bees, you know? And then they also admitted later that they were into trying new things, like having a threesome or, uh, oh God. an orgy. Oh god. You'll find it in the central loop. <laughs> you will not regret listening to it, I promise. <laughs> It's one of the, uh, uh, classified, and they call it the classified something. Hmm. You know what's funny? There's a little voice line that, um, Paimon had where she said bro in it. And you can literally hear her bust out laughing after she said it. Oh my. Like she's either supposed to laugh after saying it or not, but it's in there. Wow, the stamina bar is different. Well, when you have a big one, it uh, looks different than a small one. No, it just, the way that it moves with the character is different. Mm. Oh, and shit. the animation with her is a little bit better than it is. The outfit different? No, it's the same. The, the textures, I believe the game had updated its graphics a little bit at one point. I think that's what it is. I think that's what's fucking it. It's gonna look a lot different. Oh, I mean, crap. It looks a lot of the same, but there are some aspects of it that are very, very different. Damn, sounds like I gotta do this epic boss fight again. With the music that is just a remix of the music I used before. Sounds like I gotta wait it out. Be patient. Why are they connected? What are you doing up there? How do I destroy the wall? Oh, I see. By using my weak ass attack. <laughs> How do you like that, bitch? <laughs> Come on, where's the good part of the music already? Ow, 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 that. Big damage. Oh, there it is. Oh great, they revive. I hate it when you give me enemies like this because I'm literally not strong enough for shit like that. Ugh. Back here. I don't care that you're in rage. I need to start working on your friend, because he's a need to get you guys on the same amount of health, obviously. Up dead. There, fuck you guys. No revive shit.
Ugh. Oh, well, there you are. Sumi, these are for you. It's... It's a pendant. The machine of... Are those three entwined snakes? This pendant has been with me for as long as I can remember. Why does it fit with your two pieces? I think deep down you already know the answer. Don't be ridiculous. Are you trying to say that... that I... Paimon doesn't understand! This one is Kokomis, this one is from the Dianichi Mikoshi, and Sumi's has been with her all along! You belong to Watatsumi Island. I grew up with the bishops. My only possessions were this pendant and a few boxes of books. I learned human language and writing from them, but not long after that... Enconomia was left without a single human being. It became completely empty. Only recently did I finally have the chance to make contact with humans and, and learn what the things I'd read in the books really meant. Sumi! There's a saying in your human books that I never understood until right now. People belong where they are born. The creatures belong where they are fed. I am a bishop, not a human. So I'm going back to where I belong. I guess the Dianichi Mikoshi isn't my concern. But we'll be back one day. Sumi is gone. But why did she suddenly change her mind again? Maybe Kokomi knows. Right! Kokomi will definitely anticipate this possibility. That would be why she gave us the pendant fragment in the first place. I never want to come back to this place. This event has just been a drag. Mikoshi, 
The Sangonomi Line and the vassals of Watatsumi. The original intention was that the common folk, the officials, and the divine vassals would all hold each other accountable. But today, only the common folk have flourished while the other two bloodlines have declined. So the pendant is of little use anymore. Funny you should say vassals. One of the soldiers seemed to think that Sumi was one of those. But actually, her vertical pupils meant that she was a reptile. She fooled us all. That's not true. Vassals of Watatsumi typically take on a half-human, half-snake form, symbolizing that they are the familiars of our serpent god. At least, they used to. God. Over time, the vassals graduated from identical to humans, all except for the pupils in their eyes. Yeah, the... We're a boy. Yeah, there's no god here because, well, uh, the serpent god kind of got killed by the, uh, by the... My dick. <laughs> if you call your dick Raiden, then sure. Alright, alright, Raiden. Their pure fiction. There is no evidence of their existence anywhere among Sangonomiya's classified documents. Oh! You killed a god. Watatsumi Omikami exhausted his power to create Watatsumi Island. After that, it grew weaker and weaker. No more vassals of Watatsumi were born after that. But the records do mention the very last of the vassals. All our hopes were placed onto her. She was going to be the one who could communicate between the bishops and the humans. But when she was just an infant girl, she and her guardian shrine maiden were attacked by bishops at the border of Enkanomiya. Her whereabouts have been unknown ever since. You mean her whereabouts have been known now? Most believe she died that day. But some believe she was raised by the bishops. The people of Watatsumi owe a great debt of gratitude to the vassals of Watatsumi. Now that the bishops and Watatsumi Islanders no longer have a territorial dispute, I sincerely hope that she will find her way to where she belongs. Wherever that is for her. What a story! Still, now that we know how Blood Branch Coral works, I, as Divine Priestess of Sangonomiya, need to think of a new way to counteract the Holy Soil phenomenon. For the time being, however, the issue is resolved. And all thanks to you. But Katsumi Island will be at peace for many decades to come. I can't thank you enough. Love how this entire event could have been done in one day. It sucks that it could be continued though. Oh no. Tell me that's it. No, what is this? <sighs> Can I go do that in multiplayer? No. Please. No. I don't think I'll, I might actually not do it, I don't know. If I can't do it in multiplayer, I just don't want to do it. No. But what if there's a don't yes in there? Don't be pushy. No. I'll find out what really happens. Oh, I wouldn't wear your press circle. Is not the okay. End. Just kind of died for nothing there. I mean, it's it's normal, so it'd be a lot weaker. Fair enough. Surprise you didn't just decide to laugh at me when you saw me just die there. I'm trying my best not to. Well maybe you should have. I'm laughing all of you. 
Oh no, this one you can just let pass. <laughs> That's just ultimate destruction, really. Honestly, yeah, my whole opinion on that event was just eh. Don't really like it. I don't think the duration for this event also needed to be a whole month and ten days. So, whatever, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> 